Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Zeta. The last episode I said we would come back and go through Superior Town, but guess what? I already went through this forest and got to Superior Town. Why? Because while I was recording, I tried to edit the video and it said the sound was lost. So. I really didn't feel like going back through it because the only thing you really missed was just me battling Wurmples and Pidgeys. So that is why my Pokemon is at an extremely high level. So I'm just going to run through the forest and hopefully we can take out the gym leader in this episode. But you're probably wondering why did I go back? Why didn't I go back through the forest if I already completed it? And that is because in that house you can go talk to an old man who you can battle and he will give you he will give you a potion or a berry, one of those. I can't remember. But yeah, you, sh you want to go in that house if you really need the health. It's one, it's a, it's either an orange berry or a potion. But they both give you health. So. And then over here to the left, I will show you something that's over there after I run away from this shroomish there is a hypno that you can talk to there's a female hypno and if you talk to that guy in the corner he'll teach you headbutt and this says the shrine glows with the glory of ages past actually, I'm actually going to talk to the guy to see if he actually tells you if you get the hit but oh okay well he can teach all of your Pokemon hit but not just once I did I did not know that so if you want one of your Pokemon no hit but you can take them to him and he will teach them so now after all that, we will finally end up in Superior City. Do you know the legend of this tower? Apparently a legendary Pokemon with rainbow wings died here a long time ago. If only we could turn back the clock. If only. The rock looks dry and is slightly worn to the touch. Perhaps a secret lies inside. I love Superior Town. It is such a beautiful place. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't let you in. The legend researcher is selling something in there and has requested that nobody disturb him. Well, okay. Um, I don't know what this building is. Say, hey, kid, can you do me a favor? Can you go to Wonder Cave in the northeast of our town and find the legend researcher? He went in there with Devon a couple hours ago. Could you go in there and tell him the shipment has arrived? He'll don't know what I'm talking about. Well, if we can go in there. Oh, we can. Okay, wow, this looks like a, that looks like a cave. I'm not going to go through that yet. I am going to go to the gym. Alright, never mind. I do have to go there. Hold on. I'm going to talk to this guy. He looks interesting. Hello there, child. Can I ask you a question? Which is your favorite out of the following types? Well, I'm going to go with the electric. Oh, I got the thunderstone. Can I talk to him again? Uh, apparently not. Maybe it's a daily event. Or maybe it's a one-time event. Alright, so here we are in the cave with no name. And I can't see anything. And we're already in a battle against Black Belt Tyler. Who sent out a Tyrogue. I will go ahead and use Ember. Also off screen, I 
I call it a, sh a shroomish and a starly. I really want the starly because I want to evolve in the star raptor and learn close combat. Because that's the only fighting move I think it can learn. That and detect. I could be wrong though. So what new Pokemon do we have in this area? We have a Cubone, which I do not want. We have a... Geodude. Which I will not capture as of now. I will probably capture a Graveler if I can get one later in the game. That way I can just go ahead and trade it to get a golem. Alright, a Wismer. That Wismer looks messed up. It like, looks like he's seen some stuff. I'll just go ahead and put him out of his misery. Oh, also, what I wanted to say was, if you wanted to choose my own Pokemon team, you could. And if I've already passed the area where I can catch that Pokemon, I will go back and catch that Pokemon and add it to my team. So if you want to choose which Pokemon should be in my party, I am okay with that. And will accept it even if it is a team full of magic carps. A Makuhita. Uh, no thank you. Alright, we got another trainer battle here. I really should use a potion, but I was too excited to fight him. It's not a Geo, dude. Oh yeah, I named my Shroomish Ness and my, and my Starly Stanley. So I'm gonna switch in Ness because I think it knows. I think it knows. Was it absorb? Yes, it does know absorb. In fact, that is the only move it knows. And a critical hit. Alright, good job, Ness. Flame on grew to level 11. And Ness leveled up as well. Ness leveled up again. And Ness also learned Tackle. Oh, no, I don't want to switch. I will go ahead and spam absorb or an easy win. This is gonna take longer than I thought it would, especially with Rog and Roller using sand attack. And here comes the attack miss portion, where half of my attacks will miss and the other half will hit. Alright. I am going to switch to Stanley. Hopefully, Rock and Roll does not use a rock type move because then Stanley would die. Oh, he used Harden. Good, good, good. So now I will. Switch to Ness, whose accuracy should be back up. Ah, he used tackle. Aha! You were affected by my by Ness special I mean ability. And now you are asleep. And 
And one more, and one more absorb should kill you. And we win. Good job, Ness. Level up. All right, Stanley leveled up as well. The only thing dark here is my heart. Those are some powerful words, if I do say so myself. Oh, hello, Roganrola. I just got finished killing you, or or your sister, or your brother. All right, I'm going to. No, I'm going to use a potion on Magmi, Magby, aka Flame On. And go ahead and end the episode off here. So in the next episode, we will get through more of the cave and figure out where the researcher is. But I'll go ahead and get this TM70, which is Flash. So you guys won't have to wait for the suspense. And I will see you guys next time.